Chicago. It's your boy, Mike B. You're listening to On The Go Chicago, where we talk all things Chicago sports and sports in general. Uh, we had just finished up day three of the NFL draft, so the draft is officially over. We picked on day two and day three. Three. Um, I'm here to you know, give you guys, in case you guys haven't really seen all our draft pick, just to give you guys a, a brief discuss, discussion on each draft picks, my thoughts and opinion on today's drafts. Uh, I feel like Ryan Post did a, a good job in this draft for it being his first draft. I know a lot of Bears fans was giving him hell for how he approached this draft, uh, some of the things that he did during this draft. My opinion, I'm not really mad at anything, you know, he done. Uh, So we came into this draft with six picks, and we leaving this draft with 11 players to add on to this roster. Um, I feel like all the needs that that we needed, he, you know, he hit, he not hit on it, but he addressed it. Our secondary was horrible. I feel like our secondary probably the best on this roster, potentially with all those young guys. And we got nothing but young guys in that secondary who can just learn uh, the right way from the, from the defensive coaches. Like this is, they, you get them young, you teach them to play the right way, and you build on that. So I'm liking that secondary, um, that room. I like those picks. He, I feel like he went best available. Like he said in his press conference, he wanted to go best player available and not reach on drafting uh, a player, you know, and then two years from now, the player that you passed on, they're playing at a Pro Bowl level. So I, I understand you know, the reasoning behind, you know, drafting the best players. Um, offensive line, I think we drafted at least about five offensive linemen, uh, guards, tackles, and even centers. So that offensive line room come training camp is going to be, man, competition like crazy because none of the guys who's on the roster previously – or set in stone, set in stone. This offense, the starting five is not set in stone. So it's anybody game now to come in, compete, and to make the starting five. And I'm really looking forward to seeing who makes the starting five on this offensive line. So that that pretty much was, I feel like, can be improved because competition brings out the best of everyone. And a lot of the, these players he's drafted, they raw. But they got they got potential to be good in this league if they develop the right way, which you got them in young. You got this offensive staff already, you know, lined in to teach them to play the right way. There's no no half ass and you're gonna teach them to play the right way. Get them in while they're young and teach them to play the right way for the third time and we got our punter we added on to the running back room we got our we got a receiver so we pretty much addressed it everything the roster still not you know done yet i feel like he's still going to add some undrafted free agents we added a few already that's going to be a different video i'm going to talk about that and i still think he's going to ask a couple of veteran free agents just to put a cherry on top so the first pick of the polls, Eva Flew's era was Kyler Gordon, cornerback from Washington, six foot, 194 pounds, can play the corner or the nickel, an excellent player to play alongside J Line Johnson. Those tools can those two can be really good, especially we're gonna be playing a lot of elite receivers, and we need at least two or three good defensive backs to compete. And I feel like Kyler Gordon will be good. I feel like he's a day one starter, uh, get to the ball, speedster, great tackler. Um, so, yeah, that's what we need, a tough guy who can get to the ball, get after the ball, and can make his tackles, and who can disrupt the pass. And Kyler Gordon does that. Next up, we got Jaquan Brisker, safety sick out of Penn State, 6'1", 200. 200 pounds, 
Uh, he played 400 snaps at safety, 100, 100 snaps at an inside linebacker, and 100 snaps at slot corner. So this tells me he can does he does it all. You can send him to 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 the to the run game. You can use him in the to rush the passer. You can use him. You can use him at just lurking in the in the secondary to make plays. He can he can be he can be anywhere on the field. Um, he get after the ball, can tackle, can make play, dis- disrupt the pass. Um, so yeah, I, I like I like this pickup as well. Somebody who can play alongside Eddie Jackson, who can be how Amos was, and just let Eddie Jackson just do him. Somebody who can who can get after the ball, who can make the tackles, because we all know Eddie Jackson is not from well from we've seen the footage last year. It's not a good tackle tackler so a guy like this can really um cover up eddie jackson's weakness and i believe he will be a day one starter uh the third pick was velas jones jr six uh wide receiver out of tennessee six foot 204 pounds um per returner kick returner a speedster good route runner uh can really get uh some yak so yeah, he not he not a, a big name. I really didn't do my research on him because I had a lot of other receivers that I had before him, so I didn't really get a chance to even do my research on him. But I did watch footage, and I like I like what I seen. A lot of people say he can he can be Debo. I want to put that on him because you can't you can't. Uh, do the same thing Debo done. We can't you can't re- reduplicate that. So but I think he will be a good player for this Bears team if used the right way. And I believe his offensive uh staff will use him the right way. People knocked him for being a 25-year-old rookie, but hey, we had COVID last year, which he probably would have came out last year, but shoot to come out this year. So can't really knock him for that. So yeah, I, I like this pickup too to you know, beef up our wide receiver room. Um, this well, another pick. I think I, this is the fifth pick. No, this is the fourth pick. Offensive tackle Braxton Jones. This guy is when I listen to him talk, real smart. Um, people, people. I know somebody asked him. He gets. He's a nice guy, but I think he can bring toughness. He seemed nice, but I think he can. He can. He can be real, real tough. Um. Great, great um, arm length. Uh, can um, can block him. Uh, pass block, run block. A lot of people said they want to see him against the elite, you know, edge rushes. Which of course he's going to struggle against the best edge rushes in the NFL. He's still a young rookie, but I think he got room to be a great offensive tackle. I think he probably the most well polished out of all the. Offensive lineman we drafted today, so I can see him competing for either a left tackle or a right tackle position. This training count, uh, with the fifth pick was a uh, edge rusher, Dominique Robinson, 6'5, 253 out of Miami, Ohio, a receiver turn, edge rusher, still raw, but got a lot of room to grow, got a lot of potential. Like I said, Young can get him in and teach him the right skills, build on it, and he can be something special on this defense. So, yeah, uh, that's a really nice, solid pickup. Zachary Thomas was the next pick. Offensive tackle, 6'5", 308 pounds, San Diego State. He played left tackle and right tackle, a little bit of guard, solid Um pass blockers, solid run blocker. All these guys are still projects, but got potential to be good. And so I can't really shit on none of these offensive linemen because I don't know what they what they're gonna be. I'm happy that we got some offensive linemen and to compete. Competition would bring the best out of everybody. Then we took the running back uh Treston Ebner Speedster uh running back Fab eleven two two oh six out of Baylor like I said Top end speed, versatile in the backfield, can pass catch. Also did punt returns and kick returns. Next pick was center, Doug Kramer for Illinois. 
uh, started 47 games at Illinois, got good hands in the run game, can block, um, probably going to be the backup from Lucas Patrick. Uh, then we got the offensive guard, J- Jatire Carter, 6'3", 311 out of Southern, played left tackle, took some, and took some rep at center. Um, they protected him best as a guard, got good length, as the interior offensive line prospect. And so, yeah. Um, and then we drafted Elijah Hicks, 5'11", 200 pounds out of cow. This guy was lit, man. When he uh, watched him talk, great tackler, can get to the ball, bring that toughness, probably going to be a rotation safety or playing uh, the special team. Then the last pick of the draft was a punter. Trenton Gill, 6'4", 219 out of NC State. Those are all 11 of our picks today. And, yeah, we like I said before, we addressed a lot of needs. Um, competition going to be really great this summer. Excited to look for it. Can't wait till they release the training camp schedule because I'm really going to try to get me a ticket to go again because last year was a great experience. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about all 11 our prospect. Uh, I'm still doing a lot of great, you know, research on these guys. I just want to give you guys a quick update of who we drafted and a little bit about them that, that I got in my notes that I got from ESPN, uh, the draft networks, my own opinion. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Great um, Ryan Poe's draft, draft in the comment. And subscribe to the channel, man. Let me know what you guys think. It's your boy, Mike B. And I'm out. Peace.